This is the one who review I have been dreading for so long. Thing happens. 
else that I really don't want to talk about because I totally wasn't in the library watching angels take Manhattan and something. Yeah! But then, after the pawns go away, well actually before the pawns go away, we meet Clara. Clara Oswin Oswald, or just Clara Oswald. Yeah, it's a little confusing without going too much into detail, but Clara, she's pretty awesome. I like her. And she was with Levin until the end, and like a couple of companions before her, kind of fell for the doctor a little bit. Can you blame her though? Can you blame her? So within Matt Smith's time, we had a very special thing, which was the 50th anniversary, which was spectacular, and I've seen it at least three times. I saw it once on the Universal simulcast thing, which I actually requested the day off of work for. Then I also saw it in theaters, which was awesome, and I felt really awkward because I didn't know anyone there, but it was okay, because Hoovians and stuff, and no one said anything about my scarf, because I was totally wearing my fourth Doctor scarf and no one said anything. Lame idiots, all of you. But the 50th anniversary was quite an interesting story. It brought back David Tennant and brought on the new character of the War Doctor, which I'm going to go into a little bit of detail right here for you. The War Doctor was portrayed by John Hurt, who has been in like everything BBC you could possibly imagine. I mean, he was Ollivander in Harry Potter. That is how far out this guy goes. Basically, the War Doctor is the regeneration between eight and nine, which totally F's up everything we've known until now, but at the same time it makes complete sense. Except now there's 12 doctors and stuff and stuff, which confuses everyone. War Doctor is basically the doctor that every doctor after him wants to forget about. Until the 50th anniversary, when he redeems himself, 10 and 11 finally remember what actually happened that day in Gallifrey when apparently the world was destroyed. Or was it? I'm not gonna spoil it in case you haven't seen it. But a little thing about the 50th I will spoil, Tom Baker. Tom Baker came back. Tom Baker came back, guys. And I wasn't expecting it either. So when he came back, this was literally me. <laughs> Yep, that happened, and I was freaking out. Back to Matt Smith. Matt Smith is my favorite doctor by far, and I'm probably sounding like a complete Matt Smith fangirl, but I'm not. I mean, I am, but I'm not like, Matt Smith is the only good doctor out there, he's the only one I'll ever watch. No. No. Obviously, I've done ten other reviews on the doctor, so you know I've watched plenty of Doctor Who. Overall, I love, love, oh! Six hours later. I love the 11th Doctor, and I was very sad to see him go, but I am very excited to finally see Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. And just from little tiny tidbits I've seen on the internet, he seems like he's going to be quite an interesting character, and possibly something we've never seen before. So my next video will of course be my review on Peter Capaldi's Doctor, the 12th Doctor finally. But but that is it from me on the 11th Doctor. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button down below, or click the like button, or leave me a comment, tell me what you want me to review. It can be anything, it doesn't have to be Doctor Who. I just rhymed. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Bye. I don't know anymore